Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel once again and today's video is gonna be a documentation that I'm gonna do for one month. It's gonna be a one month constant every day. I'm gonna shoot this one to give you a result. Guys, I do like sometimes I say start over. If things doesn't work, always ensure to start over. Start over again and find the right thing to do that fits your time at that moment uh, of the situation. What's the video about? I'm starting a new course, Swedish. So far, it hasn't been bad, it's so so. Uh, and it's a four weeks intense course, just one month, three hours a day. That's nine to 12. And then I'm gonna document this and we're gonna go to this journey together. It's a new start for me, I would say. I can't complain because everything has been so good. I have cold, so never mind my voice. Um, this is gonna be this cool where I'm gonna be at. Where is it? That is where I'm gonna be studying my Swedish for the next one month. Guys, I will respond if it's worth it. Uh, what kind of changes you need to make on your belief and understanding if you want to learn a new language. Uh, this is pretty much going to be um, Swahili, Luo, English, Greek. It's going to be my fifth language. Though I started studying French and I stopped because I didn't have time to practice and also I got into a situation where I forgot about everything. But fingers crossed that this one month is not going to be of any loss and I will share with you what I did, how I managed to capture whatever I'm going to capture within four weeks intense course of Swedish guys. So yeah, this is day one and it's going to be a whole month of documentation. So you have a long list, but I'll try to post maybe every day's results good morning good morning good morning 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 guys welcome to my channel once again okay so today this is a day two and i promise you i'm gonna record every single day what's going on uh with my intense swedish studies for one month and i will share every tactics or tricks that you can use to be able to learn a new language but do me a favor share what your ideas down here with me Tell me what you do, how you learn the new language and uh, what works for you best and how long did it take you to learn that new language? Which one is it? Do you love it? Does it work for you? Do you use it at any time or, um, of your life? Yesterday I shared with you uh, what you can do, the tactics you can use to learn a new language. Let's see what's going to be uh, told today and I will tell you after that. See you later. Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Hey, hey, like I said, I will always wish you a good morning every day, every day until I'm done. So this is my three day, third day to my Swedish class. And uh, it's, it's not a bad day today. It's a bit chilly. As you can see, it's a bit gray. Uh, but I think the sun will come out later on in the day. Now I'm pretty close to this high school that I'm gonna be here for a month. One thing I learned yesterday that could help you if you would like to study your Swedish is listen to podcasts. Listen to simple podcasts. And another thing you can do that uh, we were told yesterday is if you find simple books like kids books that you can try and read, try your best to read, try, um, use Google translation that will help um, if you don't understand anything, but find a simple podcast to listen to when you start to go for classes uh, because sometimes simple podcasts can, you can hear the words that you've already learned. So yeah podcast is another thing to keep uh, on, on check so guys I'm done with the class I'm just gonna go for some little shopping that I need mm, 
as I told you, the day is not that bad. It's not cold, but uh, it's not sunny either. So I'm in a place called Yantoye. That's where my school is. So I'm gonna go to a place called Mondo for some little shopping before I head home. But I wanna tell you, the day was great. The study was amazing. And uh, yes, like I told you earlier, you have to listen to some podcasts that you feel are good for you. Precisely the ones that are for kids and better, or kids' books, or storybooks, read books, read children's books. Those are another tips that you can use to learn a new language. For now, I have a podcast that I'm listening to, a Swedish podcast that I'm listening to, that is really, really nice and easy to follow. I can pick up the words that I've already learned in the class, so it makes it easy for me to remember. I don't know about you. Like I said, share your, your tips and uh, tricks, how you study a new language in a new country or before you visit the country. What do you usually do? Do you go there first and study or do you always uh, go back to the country or be studying before you attend the school? Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Okay, so this is my day four. And as I said, it's good to always say good morning. Uh, it doesn't matter who the person is. You know them, you don't know them. But just say hi. So good morning on my day four of learning Swedish intense course for one month. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is, uh, which is gonna be my fifth day and the last day of the week, as you all know, uh, I will give you a wrap up of what I've learned and what I can do and what I've achieved within one week of, uh, of the course. And um, maybe I'll just give you a complete wrap up of uh, how I managed to achieve that what I did, what I was doing, and probably what you can do as well. Maybe it will help. Uh, and just don't forget to share. Don't forget to share your, your ideas as well. How you manage to learn that language or how you're learning that language, the tricks, the tips, the uh, know-how, everything that you're doing so we can help somebody else. But I'll give you a wrap up of uh, what I have achieved within a one week of intense course, three hours per day. So five days. Guys, again, that's my school right there. So I'm gonna walk in and see you later. Hey, hey guys, welcome to my channel once again. Now, we're gonna do a final wrap up. As you have seen my journey until today which is Friday and I just wanted to give you an outcome of what I have achieved within a one week of Swedish intense course remember it's one month so I have three more weeks to go and I if you watch the videos from the beginning until the end you will gain something and of course you will also maybe change something that you're doing wrong I am actually out at the moment I'm at the park I came from school and I decided I'm not going home I just want to sit here and do some few reading uh, do like a few revision read and uh, and then go home so, but it's it's really nice on this side. Yeah, I'm enjoying the ducks and yes. So you you do know uh, if you've watched my videos, I like nature. I love I love nature. Not like I love nature, and uh, Gothenburg or Sweden in general is providing me with that. So I'm really 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 happy. Back to business. What have I achieved um, within the one week of uh, Swedish intense course? I've actually managed to uh, be able to read. I can read Swedish, yes. Uh, even though some pronunciations might be different or I might not understand some words, but I can read. So 
if you're open to learning and you're really 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 dedicated that you really want to learn that new language you should have a progress from a to b right now i feel like i've moved to b which is being able to read despite not being able to understand all the words or some of the words uh, yes i can uh, compose some sentences simple sentences i can understand some things yes um i because why i do a lot of listening to audio books podcasts and uh yeah those those are the things that are helping me until today so yeah expect or try to push yourself to do something by the end of the week because you don't have much time and the course is very expensive so you don't it's not like you have a whole year or your lifetime to be there and um, I'm happy I'm happy that I've achieved something I'm happy that I've moved somewhere to somewhere which means I can read I can create or compose a sentence a simple sentence and also if uh, if people are speaking slowly okay my listening skills are being adjusted still I can understand uh, but if you speak a bit slower yeah uh, that will give me a way to think and respond a, a chance to, I mean a chance to think and respond and one other thing I want to let you know is that when you when you learn another language you have to try to stop thinking with the language that you know I kid you not if you want to translate English to Swedish is a complete total chaos it's a mess grammar um, whatever this it's a total mess so I would say try to think in that language that you're trying to learn it's not easy at the beginning but you push yourself you push your mind to constantly think that language so let's complete it let's give you a list of a total wrap up of things that has helped me and i hope they will help you too when you're learning a new language remember the first thing that we talked about was listening you have to listen whatever it is around you pay attention on people talking around you um radio uh, tv audio podcast whatever it is just listen because sometimes we if you don't know a certain language we tend to block ourselves so anything that people are saying sounds like like music but try to listen listening is another thing um, the other thing is reading kids books oh yeah so if you find children's book you can try and read children's book that will definitely definitely help you if you find easy to read kids book try that uh, watch movies or TV shows simple or children's TV shows or children's book I um, mean film or whatever that will also um, help you a lot and when you're in class try to interact oh my god that's really really one of the major things that gives you the courage gives you the the um, the urge to talk because you're actually talking to people who are in the same level as you. So if you make a mistake, the teacher will help you. The teacher will tell you if you're wrong or not. But you're also gaining the courage to set your mind to be able to, uh, to create words, create sentences and say it out loud. So practicing, especially with your group of studies, it's really 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 something I am pushing and like I am emphasizing on that it does help trust me you'll make mistakes we all do and a lot of mistakes we will you will make a lot of mistakes not a lie do you feel like making mistakes is wrong no making mistake is a process for you to learn so what do you do keep on making those mistakes and listen to the correction so don't make a mistake and think that you're not good enough make a mistake but accept the correction and listen carefully for the correction and ask okay so this is another thing 
that's the weight quote the fifth one ask as many questions as you can even if you know but you're uncertain just ask the questions ask them ask the teacher ask the people around ask somebody sitting next to you ask to create an interaction so you see what, how they think what they will say because sometimes the pronunciation will be easier if you listen to other people so asking questions to see how they will say something or what they think about that or they, do they remember and usually I feel in my own opinion I feel like if I ask someone something and they remember and we were in the same class I push myself to know because why would I not know and we are in the same class in the same time being taught by the same teacher so it gives you the motivation to do what to try I still have a lot and a long way to go I'm not there yet I still cannot completely start saying that I'm th I'm gonna be thinking as a Swede because it's not easy to just pick up another language and just start like that but some application maybe I'll talk about them next week I will give you tips on which applications I'm using at the moment for this uh, for studying Swedish maybe you might find the same application for the language that you study but remember don't forget to share your tips your tricks what you do how are you studying the, uh, the new language which one is it where are you are you in that country or are you planning to go to that country is it for work for leisure reasons for study and what are your tactics how long did it take you or how long has it taken you to study that language love you all don't forget to subscribe share comment and of course 